Yo, what is up? Oh, that is a loud intro. <coughs> yeah, that was pretty loud. I'm sure my neighbors might have heard that. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the day after the draft. My hair is an absolute wreck. Um, welcome to the day after the draft. Yesterday, I had my volumes all the way up. Holy cow, that might have broken some eardrums. There we go. Whew! That was exciting. I haven't been able to do that. Um, welcome back. Today is the day after the draft, as I've already said twice. Yesterday was amazing. Um, I felt I was I was over the moon because I got the first three picks. Or I got the first three picks right in my mock draft. <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah, I'm just in a great mood right now. I feel amazing. But let's go into my overall grades for this draft. Uh, starting off with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in draft order. It's so like even though I'm not gonna go like pick by pick, that would just take especially for me two hours. We're going to do like this. So the Minnesota Timberwolves get an A. They crush the pick with Anthony Edwards. They crush the pick with Jaden McDaniels. Love those two picks. Holy cow. This was happening as a recording yesterday, too. Okay. Uh, the pick I don't like here is Leandro Bomaro from Argentina. He's not a bad pick. I just wasn't super high on him. And I would have been, I would have been even... I would have probably would have given them an A plus if they had switched the like if they picked McDaniel's in the twenty third and Bomaro at twenty eighth, which I think would have been possible. But you still get an A. Great draft, Minnesota Timberwolves. My buttons aren't working. There you go. Golden State A plus. James Wiseman crushed it. Mannion crushed it. Justinian Jessup crushed it. This is a beautiful draft. They stuck to the gut. They chose the best player on the board, James Wiseman. And then to make up for the lack of Clay Thompson, Nico Mannion, Justinian Jessup crushed it. And I'm sorry, I'm a huge Clay Thompson fan, and it, it makes me sad. But it's okay. I love Justinian Jessup. I love Mannion. Love Wiseman. Great draft for the Warriors. Next, Charlotte Hornets, A plus as well. Crushed it with Lamella Ball. Um, I mainly there was really nobody else I would have taken here except for maybe Onyeka Kungu, but uh, crushed it. Um, next, Vernon Carey. Love it. Crushed it. Crushed that pick. Nick Richards, good pick. Grant Riller, good pick. Like they, It's a lower A+. Plus. I'd say the Warriors had the best draft. Maybe. Probably. Uh, the Warriors had the better draft out of these two, but still both A+. Pluses. I love these picks. Um, it's like if the Hornets, you take high potential players, because there is no set direction yet. So with Lamel Ball, extremely high potential. Probably the highest in the draft. Vernon Carey, extremely high potential. They just, they crushed this draft. Chicago Bulls did not crush this draft. Um, I love Patrick Williams. I was a huge fan of Patrick Williams. I was also a huge fan of Patrick Williams going with, going at the end of the lottery, not the fourth overall pick. Now, I'm not saying he will blossom. He won't, like, if you watch my mock draft, I compared him to Kawhi Leonard. Um, I still think that there's a good, a solid chance that that can happen. Um, maybe not to the great extent that Kawhi Leonard was, but you just can't take a player who hasn't started with the fourth overall pick. That's just, the potential is there, but for the Bulls, I think they are a good enough team that if they had chosen correctly, chosen, let's say, a Dia, um, a Coro, Halliburton, more of a, a more pro-ready player, not entirely pro-ready, but a more pro-ready player, they could have competed for playoff spots in the East. And then also, I don't like this Marco Simonovic pick. I don't know too much about him, which isn't good considering I know I knew quite a bit of players drafted after him. <laughs> Excuse me. I should probably not eat right before I do this. Um, but yeah, I don't like this pick from a Bulls fan perspective. Cleveland Cavaliers. Take Isaac Okoro, B+. Um, great pick. I think this probably was the best pick they could have taken. In my opinion, best fit for them. Um, I get uh, Dia and Okoro are about even. Um, but I, I, you could make a case for either one. But I think B-plus, just because of the lack of draft capital, like after this fifth overall pick, they didn't have any other draft picks, as you can see. Um, but yeah, overall, not a bad draft. Atlanta Hawks get an A. Um, 
I love Onyeka Kangwu, um, but uh, the fact that he wasn't really a necessity, like say a Denny of Dia, or well, probably I don't, I keep forgetting I don't want them to take a small forward. Like a Tyrese Halliburton is uh, would have been a much. Uh, they took Tyrese Halliburton here A plus, um, even if they took me with the second overall pick or their second round pick. But um, yeah, I would. I the Okungu is going to be great. I just didn't see an absolute need for him here, and the Hawks would have been better off with Halliburton, I believe, and Skyler Mays. I not a huge fan of his, but still not a bad pick. I personally would have taken. Um, shoot, Sam Merrill. Yeesh. Um, I personally would take Sam Merrill, Merrill here. You'll you'll hear his name so much throughout this video. Like more times than you've ever heard in your life. Uh, like if this was your first time, you'll hear about six more times. And uh, yeah, I would have taken Sam Merrill with the 50th overall pick instead of Skyler Mays, but still good draft. Detroit Pistons select Killian Hayes, a very solid pick. Um, I think I, I got this one right in my mock draft, and the, like, this just this was just a chaotic draft. Um, like with it started with Patrick Williams. Um, going fourth, Okoro fifth, like really that Patrick Williams pick kind of messed it up for, um, messed it up for everybody else, like just sh shook it up quite a bit, but I think th they stayed true to what they wanted to do and selected Killian Hayes, love it. What I don't love is the Isaiah Stewart pick oh, at 16, I, I think they could have waited quite a bit longer to take Isaiah Stewart, I, I would have, I would not have taken Stewart with the 16th pick. I would have taken Sadiq Bey with the 16th pick. But still, they're fine players, uh, both a bit undersized um, to play the bigger roles, big men roles, but um, not not horrible. And then Saban Lee, again, not a horrible pick, not great. So I'll give him an A, mainly for that Killian Hayes pick with great potential. And my computer's being weird. Next, the New York Knicks. A-. minus. Um, Obi Toppin, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan of his. And Daniel Oturo, huge fan of his. Emmanuel Quickly, not as much of a fan, especially with the 25th overall pick. I don't like it. I would have preferred Mannion, Trey Jones. But um, going back to Obi Toppin, this was not the best pick the Knicks could have made. Um, I would have much preferred uh, Tyrese Halliburton. Here to pair him up with R.J. Barrett, that would have been absolutely insane. Cole Anthony, even, I might have preferred. But still, Obi Toppin will be an amazing player. He is 22, which is one of his major turnoffs. But um, still, pretty solid draft for the New York Knicks. Probably one of their better ones in a while. Washington Wizards get an A. <laughs> really because Avdia fell to 9. Like Some people had him going 2. So the fact that Avdia fell to 9 is absolutely insane. And great job by the Wizards not overthinking it. Like, even if they had a plan, you got to take... When Avdia is there, if there's that 9, you got to take him. And then Cassius Winston at 53, great pick. Will be a great veteran, uh, great leader um, off the bench. Love the draft from the Wizards. And the only team, I believe, that did not pass, the Phoenix Suns. Are you... Serious. Who in the right mind takes Jalen Smith with the 10th overall pick? Now that might seem a little harsh, um, uh, but I I like Jalen Smith. He was I constantly had him grouped with Isaiah Stewart and Jaden McDaniels. I liked him more than those two. And I think he was my what, like my third best, second, third best power forward. I think third best. But not with the 10th pick. I mean, Precious Achua fell all the way to 20, who I was much higher on. He was still available. You don't take him. That is, this was a, I really did not like this draft from the Phoenix Suns. But yeah, don't, let me go back to this. Don't get it wrong. I still like Jalen Smith. He can develop, but this is just way too high. You could have traded down. You could have traded down 20 more spots, or maybe 10 more spots, 
down 220 and gotten him. But, yep, you guys get a 10 or a D. Sheesh. It's not even night. I don't have nighttime as an excuse anymore. Next, San Antonio Spurs get an A. I love Devin Vassell. I love this pick. Um, I think he is better. He is currently better than his uh, uh, counterpart, Patrick Williams. Um, even though Patrick Williams would have been was taken four, I do like Patrick Williams at four better than I would have liked Vassell at four, uh, just because of the higher potential. But Vassell, he started every game for Florida State. Um, Loved it, loved his play, loved his defense, loved his offense. And then Trey Jones at pick 41, absolutely love it. I had him going end of the first round. So middle to late second round, I guess middle second round. Absolute steal for the Spurs. Great draft. Sacramento Kings. This might be the best draft. I this The Kings, I think, won the draft. Um... I should, yeah, I'll make a video on my winners and losers overall, but this just kind of gives you an idea. Um, yeah, Tyrese Halliburton. Perfect pickup for the Kings. Because hey, we're, we're talking about um, the Bogdan Bogdanovich trades. Um, those fell apart. Uh, so I don't know the future of the Kings in the two and three yard, uh, the, the guard wing area. Uh, but looking at it, Plain and simple, if um, Bogdan, uh, Bogdan intends to stay, if he does stay, you can have Tyrese. You can um, have Tyrese Halliburton uh, fill in that two guard, and and slip uh, Bogdanovich over to the three. Uh, not the greatest defensive fit right there for uh, Bogdanovich, but it'll it would work. Then Xavier Tillman with the thirty fifth overall pick, he might be a little undersized, but he can produce. And also, I not too comparable, other than they're undersized for Michigan State, but Draymond Green sec and the second round pick. I, I'm not sa not saying just just saying. Um, and then forty third, uh, Jameis Ramsey, going. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was trying to say. Jameis Ramsey, point guard from Texas Tech. I loved his hustle. I loved his defensive effort. Did not like his uh, free throw shooting uh, percentage, which, as we all know, is a more realistic based um, like way to like project a player's um, shooting in the NBA. Wasn't a huge fan of that, so I don't know how good of a shooter he will be. But I still loved his hustle, his energy, loved it all while watching him play. New Orleans, Pelic New Orleans Pelicans get an A. Again, I got this one right, which absolutely amazes me that I got this right but um Kira Lewis Jr. Uh, from Alabama I just I just can't stop thinking about the fast breaks that are gonna happen I mean you have um, Lonzo Ball, Kira Lewis, either one can play the one and the two then you have um, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson um, and then a young developing Jackson Hayes I th those fast breaks are just gonna be absurd like seriously those these games are going to be so much fun to watch. Yeah, so they get an A. If they had like made an, just any other selection, it would have bumped up to an A+. Plus. But still, very solid draft for the Pelicans. Celtics get a C! I don't like this draft for the Celtics. I, I love the players. But here's why I don't like the picks. Aaron Nesmith, maybe the best shooter in the draft. The only problem is he's would be playing. Be, he would be playing behind another great shooter, whether that be Jason Tatum, uh, Gordon Hayward, Jalen Brown. We don't need him. Peyton Pritchard, love him. We don't need him. We already have an all-star caliber point guard. Desmond Bain at thirty. We already have an all-star caliber shooting guard. Jalen Brown. I'm not saying he made not that he made the all-star team. He's all-star caliber. And finally, Yam Mater. Again, we don't... Well, actually, this one I am more fine with. I guess I've, the point guard ones I'm okay with, especially just finding out we uh, didn't extend uh, Brad Wanamaker. We actually do need point guard depth. 
But still, with the 26th overall pick, I would not have taken um, Peyton Pritchard there. Um, I would have preferred to see him take a big man with high potential. But, um, but yeah, overall, they pass. But seriously, can we stop drafting players that we don't need? Like, we don't need a small forward point guard or shooting guard. But back to Yamater, I actually was a fan of his highlights. I didn't know too much about him. Watching his highlights, great playmaking point guard. And I'm actually kind of happy to have Yamater. So, yeah, uh, C+. Plus. Yeah, why do I even try the buttons? Magic, B. Uh, Cole Anthony, is not. it's not his fault. It's a B. Um, I, love his, I love him as a player. I think he would be great if he could find the right team. Because he is one we have seen needs to have a good team around him in order to produce. And um, I don't think the Magic are it. But the Magic are put into a predicament now. Because you have Markel Fultz and Cole Anthony. Neither one of them are big enough to play the shooting guard. Neither one of them. So you could either have one of them come off the bench. And if you do, which one? But if you don't want one of them to get off the, come off the bench, you got to trade one of them. And then again, which one? So the Orlando Magic are in a predicament, but I love Cole Anthony, and that's why this is a B. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City Thunder, C+. I really hope this isn't a sign to come with their other 17 draft picks. And that no, that is not an exaggeration. They literally have 17 draft picks. Alexei Pokusevsky, 17th pick. I like him. I like Pokusevsky. I think they could have waited a little bit, maybe trade down um, a little bit and gotten him then. So I think it's a little bit of a reach, but the potential is there. The potential is really there. Um, at 34th, Theo Maladin. Uh, this is, I thought he would have gone higher. I, I thought somebody would have taken him with a 17th pick-ish, like in that range. But fell to 34, again, great potential. Like Those top two picks, great potential players. Um, but Vit Kreshki, I don't like this pick. I I really do not like this pick. Um, I just I have done a bit of research, and everything I've seen just I don't like about him. His stats, um, like they haven't like I have a way to translate them, which I might make a video about, like translating stats. But um, I just didn't like watching him play. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, there are players I would have much preferred over him, like a shooting guard, uh, Cassius Stanley. I would have preferred, I guess they're going with the theme of potential. Stanley has insane amount of potential. But still, um, not a horrible draft. Um, this grade can either change like to an A plus if Pokusevsky, Maladin, and Kreshki do work out, or it can fall all the way to an F. Well, actually, it, it, this is about the worst. It could be a C plus, C minus, D plus maybe. But yeah, not a horrible draft. They, I'll, get, I'll give them a passing grade. Mavericks, Josh Green. I got the th they got him in the trade with the uh, 76ers for um, Seth Curry, which is a fine trade for both of them. Um, I just don't like the fit too much with Josh Green. I, it's not a horrible fit. It works pretty dang well. But I think there was a better... I think Cole Anthony would have been a better fit, so if they had, like, traded up, and I would have liked to see Josh Green and Cole Anthony switch teams. It would be absolutely ideal for me. But still, Josh Green is a very solid player. can do basically everything. Like, anything you want him to do except for maybe rim protect. But, um... Yeah, he plays defense, he plays offense, he can shoot, he can pass, he can defend. Like, he's just a Swiss Army knife, really. And then he has a pretty good height for a shooting guard. But the person I want to talk about with this is Tyrell Terry. Um, if you watch my um, my mock draft or my draft board video, either one, um, I compare Tyrell Terry to Stephen Curry. I am not saying he will be a two-time MVP at a unanimous MVP. I am saying he plays like him. He plays like in the, like the the um, MVP Stephen Curry. I mean, if you go just look at their offense playing styles, 
both are insane shooters. Okay, both can pass. Both can dribble. Like, like, well. And then, while both of them aren't known for their defense, their style of defense, the anticipation in their style, of, in their style of play, is amazing. It's like, it's amazing to watch just the similarities between these two. And I think Tyrell Terry is might will probably be the steal of the draft, even when it's, it was only like the first pick of the second round. Absolute steal. Miami Heat get an A. Um, I love Pressure Sachua. As I mentioned earlier, I would have taken him with the 10th overall pick if I were the Heat. So the fact that he fell all the way to 20 past the Thunder, who took another power forward, um, I think it's a great fit, a great pick for the Miami Heat. Not a great fit for the Heat, though, as um, he and Bam might start clogging up the middle. One of them will have to expand out to the three-point line. Um, I, I think Bam is closer to that, but both need to work on stretching the floor, um, especially because that's how the Heat won last year and like, did so well was through the uh, floor stretching. So yeah, he will clog the middle up a little bit, but still getting a lottery pick, like lottery caliber player with pick 20, great pick. 76ers in A. This pick, they had three amazing picks. Like this like the percentage would probably be like a 96% just like a like a point or two away from an A+. But um the point or two uh, one and a half points came from Isaiah Joe, uh, the doc there, and a half point from Tyler Bay. But the Tyrese Maxey pick, I absolutely love it. Like he was a lot again a lottery potential player with the twenty first overall pick. Love it. Um, Tyler Bay, he's a fine player, final defense score, especially now that they trade Al Horford away. They need to fill in that power forward spot, um, and they attempted that with Tyler Bay and Paul Reed. I love I love Paul Reed. He is probably the only player in that is picked in these fifty, like this 50, 50th pick range, fifty to sixty. Well, fifty to fifty nine because Merrill was sixty. That Paul Reed is probably the only one that I would say is a good pick over Sam Merrill. But um, yeah, Isaiah Joe would have preferred Sam Merrill, um, just because maybe it's because I've watched him play like in person. Sam Merrill is insane. Like, you all will see for the Bucks, Merrill is insane. But, um, but yeah, overall, very good very good draft for the 76ers. The Nuggets, a B-. Um, just very easy to see. They went based off potential. I mean, R.J. Hampton was the definition of potential and question marks, but potential. Um, and then Zeke and Najee uh, filming that power forward spot if... Um, Jeremy Grant decides to leave, and a backup center, which they don't really need more height. But they got it. They got a lot more height, as R.J. Hanson is also a bit bigger for the point guard position. But um, yeah, they definitely a uh, potential-based draft. So I'll give a B minus. Can very easily drop. Well, maybe not because these picks are super late. Um, maybe fall to a C ish, but it could also rise all the way up again to an A plus if these. Players work out well, which they play. For, they got drafted by the Nuggets, so there's a good chance they will. The Utah Jazz drove me insane. It's like you know how I was talking about how the Celtics um, drafted players that we don't need. This Utah Jazz team, the two positions they don't need. Our shooting guard and center. Like, am I wrong in saying that they don't need a shooting guard and center? So what kind of thought process went into drafting a center and a shooting guard? What? Like, this is just absolutely retarded. I th oh, Okay, that's a bit harsh, Thomas. Calm down. This is stupid. This, I mean, if you compare Yudoka Azubike to Rudy Gobert, they're near identical. Except for one's from France. Like, the way they play is so identical. Like, if you were to draft a center, at least make it a stretch, like a stretch five. Not the exact same good player you already have. Like, great player even. 
Like, if you could see my webcam right now, I'm just moving around. My hair's a mess again. But then Elijah Hughes. This just... You're... This pick could have been spent so much better. I mean, Trey Jones, Nico Mannion are two players that just pop right into my head what could have been taken here. I mean, they're both still available. Both had first-round grades. What the heck? At least in my opinion. Again, first-round grades is what I'm talking about. I don't know. Violet wasn't too high on Trey Jones. But see, what the heck goes into this thought process? But yeah, the only reason they don't get a D is because I like Yudoka as a BK. Just as a player, I, I like him. So they get a C-, minus, barely pass. Toronto Raptors get a B. Uh, Malachi Flynn, absolutely love. Uh, apparently, they also love Mountain West players. I mean, Malachi Flynn, uh, San Diego State, Nevada. But um, they get a B. Um, uh, Malachi Flynn, love the pick. I love the Malachi Flynn pick. Um, I would have taken Trey Jones over him, but still not bad. And then Jalen Harris, I think you know what's coming. Picked in the 50s, not an A+. Sam Merrill. Uh, Sam Merrill is older than Harris, but is much better than Jalen Harris. I would, there's no, I would much prefer uh, the offensive firepower you get from Sam Merrill. But the Toronto Raptors typically know what they're doing, so I'll give them a B. Memphis Grizzlies get an A- minus solely based off value. Robert Woodard Jr., I had him going in the first round, get him at the pick 40 of the second round. Well done. That's about all i got to say there. Milwaukee Bucks, they nailed it. I don't know why I didn't give this an A+. I absolutely should have, but I'm an idiot. So, yeah, uh, Jordan Nora uh, with pick 45. Um, yeah, great college player. Um, I guess he's probably the reason I didn't give it an A+. But I should have I'm going to give him an A+, just because they drove, drafted Sam Merrill. A+. Plus. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, that's what, what it, anyone who drafted Sam Merrill, you get an A+. Plus. But, um, yeah, Nora, not a bad pick. With pick 45, great pick. Sam Merrill, perfect pick. I, so yeah, um, it was my sister's birthday yesterday, so go wish her a happy birthday in the comments. And, um, and yeah, so we had just finished up doing some stuff. Uh, just in time for me to watch the last couple picks. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting here on the couch watching... Gets to pick 60, I think there's no way. There's no way they're going to draft Sam Merrill. Some team's going to get lucky and undrafted and uh, signing him. I got so excited when he got picked. It was my, freaked my sister out a little bit. But, yeah, beautiful draft from the Bucks. Trailblazers, I honestly don't know uh, too much about C.J. Ellaby, Ellaby. Uh So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to pretend like I know too much. But um, yeah, they get a C plus just for the benefit of the doubt. Houston Rockets B minus Kevin Martin. I love Kevin Martin. Um, the first time I ever heard of him was in a Jester video when they played uh, one and one v one. Um, I think his dad's a little disappointed he didn't go with in the first round. But Kevin Martin on this Rockets team that well, there's a good chance they'll go into rebuilding. Um, with his potential, he can definitely fight to be one of the starters and stars on this team, Houston Rockets team. So I'll give him a B minus, just because it could also, like, just never happen. Like he could just be solely potential, like always one step away. But Indiana Pacers Cassius Stanley uh, B plus only because like it something just feels off about Cassius Stanley in a Pacers uniform. But um, I love Stanley, love the athleticism, love the potential. And with the 54th overall pick, well done. Love it. Brooklyn Nets, hate it. Um, nothing against Jay Scrub. I, he would have been fine if we switched the 55th and 60th pick. I would have much preferred Sam Merrill to the Nets. Because um, when you take a senior, like a player uh, in the draft uh, that's a senior, um, they are typically more seen more as pro ready. As they're older, they're probably more consistent. And right now, I think the Nets need consistency. I mean, you have two stars that have only one of them's played, and even then hasn't played the entire season. 
and then sometimes can have his games where it's not good and he only passes to players that he likes and trusts that will like trust a hundred percent not well I'll give him a shot and then KD um, KD I haven't seen too much recently Brooklyn Nets out of my guess will be the same player as the Warrior where he's coming right now the greatest passer but I just feel like Sam Merrill would have fit in so well with this team but um, no they took Jay Scrub so sorry and finally, the Los Angeles Clippers, Reggie Perry with the 57th overall pick. Um, not bad. Again, like CJ Ellibay, don't know too much about him, and I'm not going to grade the Clippers draft based off someone or something I don't know about. But yeah, that is it. Um, I'm going to cut back to me because I'm so important. If I can figure this out. I don't know what the hell I'm, hell I'm doing. There we go. This is working. There's my other screen recordings. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop the screen recording. Stop it. Okay, so, yeah, I'm back. You see me again. I fixed my hair for you. Uh, that is my draft uh, grades video. I will make a winners and losers video draft only because I want to milk this more, and it's so much fun. But, um, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. And adios. And I don't know how to stop this.